hey y'all welcome back to another tutorial now what I'm doing today is that I'm gonna go ahead and install a lace wig now I've just gone ahead and brushed my edges in and I'm using the edge control to do so the reason for the edge control it lasts longer my hair is natural and it will hold it for a longer period of time and it dries very fast now I'm using a wig cap wig cap that it is best to find a wig cap that matches or is similar to your complexion so I'm using this wig cap to go ahead and install my hair however I'm gonna go ahead and glue the wig cap now I just did the measurement to find out where my edges are prevent the glue from going on my edges so I'm going ahead right now and I'm placing the lace glue on the wig cap I'm using small portion because this glue is very after which I'm gonna go ahead and use a fudge stick to smooth it out until it is crystal clear then I will just apply a second layer of lace glue on top of it just to ensure that it holds it firm and strong so this is the fudge stick that I'm using to smooth out the glue on top of the wig cap and I'm gonna go ahead and do so until it is clear So for the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and use a blow dryer so, the, so that will dry faster. So now it's all dry, I'm going to go ahead once again and use the lace glue to apply another coat of glue on top of my wig cap. And I will definitely repeat the method of using the fudge stick to smooth it out and also the blow dryer to dry it a bit faster. I am going to slit just a small part at the ears just to take it over my ears and I'm gonna do the next side just the same just slit a little portion of it and bring it bring my ears through the wig cap so I'm using my headband to hold the wig cap firm it is already firm with the glue but I just want the glue to stay really dry and to hold firm what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to remove the wig cap right where the glue is at I'm gonna go ahead and slit that portion off and I'm gonna go ensure that it is smooth and seamless because I don't want any rough edges right at the front right there so I'm gonna use the scissors to go ahead and smooth it out and just to prevent any rough edges I want it to be seamless Some persons they might just go ahead and sew the back of the wig cap onto their ear just to keep it firm and in place or they would just go ahead and make a little knot at the back of the wig cap and that is also to keep it in place but I'm gonna just leave mine as is. Thank you. 
So as I mentioned earlier, that I'm gonna go ahead and take my scissors to remove the extra pieces of wig cap that is not necessary because I want it to be seamless. So I'm gonna cut off all those extra pieces and let it look as clean and as smooth and as sleek as possible. Now, if you have reached this far watching my video, you can go ahead and hit the like button also if you are not yet a subscriber what are you waiting on go ahead and subscribe to my channel so as soon as i post a video you will be notified also leave your comment in the comment section uh, just let me know how you rate this video all right so basically what i'm doing right now is that i'm gonna use my smoothing brush and my foundation to blend in the color on the wig to match my complexion or to go as close as possible to my complexion so when i place the wig on the the wig cap it will be as close as possible to my complexion So this is the wig that I'll be installing right now. It's a 12 inch curly wig and it's 100% human ear guys. Very, it's a very nice wig. So I'm going to use my got to be glue spray on top of the wig just to keep my hair in place. The hardest part for me is to make my edges. Guys, this is the hardest part for me. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to do it just the same. So I'm just gonna part out this little piece right here. And this part that I'm taking out is to make my edges.
so guys this is the final portion of my video and after making my edges I'm just gonna place my headband there and leave it for only 10 minutes guys I'm only leaving it there for 10 minutes all right so this is the finished look tell me what you think go ahead and leave that in the comment section remember guys to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed also hit the like button and leave your comment share this video guys thank you for watching see you in my next video